In this video I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to give you the basics on how to seal a leaking roof. As you can see I'm on top of the roof here and there's basic roof leaks. What, what causes roof leaks? Either a broken shingle or like in this case right here, I don't know if the camera can catch this, there's a, appears to be a nail through a roof somewhere. There appears to be a nail, like we got a shingle right here that's loose. We're going to put some sealant on this one. If you have any shingles, most of these shingles are, they use that hot tar and they're, they're glued down. Well that one's loose. And so if the water, if it was a high wind plus rain or hurricane situation, that's actually going to, that's actually going to be a leak hazard. And if, and if um, worst case scenario, it might actually just blow the whole shingle up. But you want to look around for any exposed, any nails that are exposed, and you want to first get a broom. The, the, the better way, to, the best way to do this is to get a broom and actually sweep the whole roof down, sweep the entire roof down, and look around for any kind of war. And when you get done sweeping, you can sweep the roof. You can sweep the roof up, and then the loose shingles will actually will actually shake. They'll actually shake like this one. Will. And then there are some that 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 are completely, you know, hard. Those won't those won't leak right there. And that's the problem I'm having with this this roof up here. And what do you want to use? You want to use this stuff right here. It has to be a very hard grade liquid rubber. You can buy this from any kind of Home Depot store. And if you go to the roofing section of a Home, De Home Depot store, it'll say wet, wet and dry. Or any lows, it'll say all weather plastic roof cement. It's really just a very hard, hard rubber. And just like I said, go around and look for any kind of shingle. If you're seeing water, if the shingle's not actually cracked or broken, see if it's, if, if it's loose. And put some of that around there and press it down. And that's how you want to seal a roof. Or come around here to this one, like, see a vent right here, and see if it's loose. And if it is, I'm going to put some around here to stop that from possibly leaking. And look for any kind of exposed, any kind of exposed nails. I haven't found that exposed nail yet. I thought I saw one. Yep, there it is, right there. The camera. That's why, that's why it's important to sweep up because if you look right there, there's a nail. Someone put a nail through there, apparently, to hold this on. And that's not a good job. That needs to have some sealant over it. And normally, they would just hit that with a patch of that black tar stuff. And there's probably a few more of these somewhere on this roof. If I sweep up better, I can get all the dust off of the top of it, and I can see it better. But uh, also, it's, it's important to go around this. If you have a roof with this top thing, the old-fashioned way was better. The, the old-fashioned way of this right here was much better. I don't know where where these came from, but this was much better. But take your, your black rubber cement and just hit each one of these and around here. That's usually what's going to cause it to leak. This thing right here is going to come up and these nails are not any good anymore and your roof may leak. And that's just a quick, this is a quick video to show people how to seal their roof. You don't have to spend $10,000 on a new roof. If it's not entirely that bad, you can save yourself some money by get a cheap ladder and get on top of the roof, especially if you're in Florida, here in Florida like where I'm at, you're going to have possible hurricanes and thunderstorms. Thanks for watching.